Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoilt, selfish and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away, but she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. Then the prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast who placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as the only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose which had bloomed for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell and the spell would be broken, if not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? I borrowed. 
finished already? Oh, I couldn't put it down. Have you got anything new? <laughs> Not since yesterday. That's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one? But you read it twice. Well, it's my favorite. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. Well, if you like it all that much, it's yours. But sir... I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. She goes a girl is so peculiar I wonder if she's feeling well With a dreamy for a look And her nose stuck, stuck in a book What a puzzle to the rest of us is best Oh, isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part Because you'll see Behind that fair facade, I'm afraid she's rather odd. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing like the rest of us. Yes, different from the rest of us. Is bad. I got it. 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 No, right a bit. No, left a bit. Ready? Go. Wow, Gaston, you didn't miss a shot. You're the best hunter in the whole world. I know. No piece of life stands a chance against you. I know, girl, that matter either. It's true, Lefou. And I've got my sights set on that one. The inventor's daughter. She's the one, the lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's... The most beautiful girl in town. Yeah, I know, but... That makes her the best. Don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she Who's as beautiful as me So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle Look there he goes Isn't he dreaming? The night. I'm the same. Just what I'm going to make Belle my wife. Look, there she goes, that girl is strange for special. A most peculiar mademoiselle. It's a pity and a sin. She doesn't quite fit it. But she really is a funny girl. A beauty, but a funny girl. She really is a funny girl. There she is. Oh, yeah. Hello, Belle. Ugh, bonjour, Gaston. Excuse me. <laughs> Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There's no pictures. Well, some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you get your head out of these books and start paying attention to more important things. Hint, hint. Like you? Exactly. The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. It's not getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. <laughs> Why, thank you, Val. What do you say you and me take a walk to the tavern and have a look at all my trophies? What do you say we don't? Come on, Val. I know how you really feel about me. You can't even imagine. Gaston, please, I have to get inside to help my father. That crazy old crackpot needs as much help as he can get. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about my father that way. Yeah. Don't talk about a father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Papa? 
some genius. <laughs> yeah. What's a genius? Oh, now, a foo. I want you to go into the woods and find me the biggest, healthiest deer you can find. <laughs> oh, not the woods. Anything but the woods. You know I hate the woods. Get me a deer for my wedding feast. <laughs> oh, not the woods. I know I hate the woods. It's dark and it's spooky and it's full of spiders. Not after what happened last time. Not again. <laughs> Papa, are you all right? I'm fine, but I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. If that isn't the stubbornest piece of... Papa! <sighs> I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Hmm. And become a world-famous inventor. You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, we better get cracking. This thing's not going to fix itself. Now, let me see. Where did I put that dog leather clencher? Papa! So tell me, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter odd? Now where would you get an idea like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. They talk about me too. No, I'm not odd nor you No family ever saner Except one uncle who will maybe let that pass In all you say and do You couldn't make it plainer You are your mother's daughter Therefore you are class So I should just accept I'm simply Not like them They are the common herd Take my word You are unique Creme de la creme No matter what you do I'm on your side And if my point of view Is somewhat misty-eyed there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you And that's a lot, no matter what No matter what they say, you make me proud I love the funny It's my intention, my invention Shows the world out there one day Just what we've got No, no matter, matter what. what Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate That every daughter's great you What the pain We've come this far I pray that you remain Exactly as you are This really is a case of father Knowing best And daughter too You're never strange Don't ever change you're all I've got, no matter what. Now, what do you say we give her a try? All right. It works! 
It does. It does. Papa, you did it. You really did it. You'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I know it. Oh, maybe I will at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you a scarf for good luck. Now I know I win. And we'll travel to all those places you've read about in your books. Well, I'm off. Goodbye, Papa. Bye bye, Belle. Be careful. is nearly mine It's quite my best invention So simple yet complex So massive yet so small This triumph of design Will be my old age pension That is providing I can find the fair at all I must have missed a sign I should have paid attention Drats that's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Wolves! For the wolves. Is there anyone home? If we keep quiet, maybe he'll go away. Is someone here? Wait! Not a word, Lumiere, not one word. I don't mean to intrude. It's just that I've lost my way in the woods and I need a place to stay for the night. Poor fellow. Oh, Cogsworth, have a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. I heard that. I know there's someone here and I'll thank you to step out where I can see you. Ah. Hello. And goodbye. Wait, wait. You're a clock, and you're talking. Astonishing, isn't it? And quite inexplicable. Goodbye. Cogsworth, I'm surprised at you. Where are your manners? We've got to get him out of here before the master finds out. This is incredible. How is this accomplished? Really, sir, if you could just... Uh, stop it, stop that. Uh, uh. Really, sir, do you mind? <laughs> well, I'm stumped. It must be some sort of newfangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Oh, I beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I've never seen a ta ta talking at you. Bless you. You are chilled to the bone. Monsieur, come, warm yourself by the fire. No, I forbid it. Lumiere, as head of this household, I demand you stop right there. Oh, not the master's chair. I am not seeing this. I am not seeing this. Ooh la la, what have we here? Do my eyes deceive me, or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, well, hello. All right, this has gone far enough. I'm in charge here, and I am telling you... True. How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Ah, oh, yes, please. No, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. Ah, this is just what I needed. <gasps> I think I scared him, mama. Hey there, little fella. What's your name? Chip. Oh, figures. Care for a blanket, monsieur? I just love older men. Babette, you are always trying to make me jealous, but it will not work this time. Me? What about you? With Simone? Jacques. Michel. Pierre. Veronique? <clears throat> Veronique. <laughs> Lumiere, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. 
As I was saying, the master is bound to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no, there's absolutely no reason to panic. Lumiere's right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? There's a stranger here. Um, master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon my Who let him in? M master, may I take this opportunity to say I was against it from the start? Who dared to disobey me? Oh, dear. You have all betrayed me. Who are you? M Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods. You're not welcome here. I'm sorry. I'll just be on my way. Hideous, isn't it? Oh no, I wasn't. You come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, I meant no harm. I was merely looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. So, <laughs> girls, I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a thing like that's gonna change the way you feel about me. Oh no, 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 never. And we'll still have a little rendezvous, age, won't we? Oh yes, 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 always. Good. Well, if we're gonna have a wedding, I best propose to the bride. Run along now. <laughs> Belle! Oh, Belle! Anyone home? Hello. Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it, though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. I'm in your portrait. Of you. Ugh, you shouldn't have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle... Oh. Wow. <sighs> Well, there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Today's the day all your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. <laughs> You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Hoping, scheming, just one team. Will you be a one? Be some he man's property. Good news that he man's me. This equation, girl plus man, doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too. Mainly to extend the family tree Pumpkin, extend with me We'll be raising sons galore Inconceivable Each built six foot four Unbelievable Each one stuffed with every Gaston jean I'm not hearing You'll this. be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So unwettable. That you are part of this idyllic scene. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill roasting over the fire. My little wife massaging my feet. As the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No bells. Strapping boys like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair, rather like my toys. You face to face with destiny All roads lead to the best things in life Are all's well that ends 
with me Escape me, there's no way Certain as do bell when you marry So, Bell, what'll it be? Is it yes or is it oh yes? I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me! But thanks for asking. Ninety-seven, <laughs> ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Oh, how to go? You know, Belle, always playing hard to get. She turned him down. For now, but I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. <laughs> well, gee, if she turned him down, maybe I still have a chance. <laughs> Is he gone? Oh, can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Oh, no, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial Hey, uh, Bell, have you seen Gaston anywhere? You just missed him. Okie dokie. Wait a minute. Where did you get that scarf? Not oh, this. I found it in the woods. It's pretty neat, right? This belongs to my father. Yeah, well, find your scapers. LeFou, I want you to think hard and tell me exactly where you found that. No. Think. Somewhere in the woods. Harder. Ah, near the crossroads. Ow. Then he's still out there somewhere. LeFou, you have to take me back. Oh, not the woods again. Don't you see? Something must have happened. You have to take me back. Not on your life. Then I'll find him myself. Couldn't keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him to stay, didn't we? Serve him tea, sit in the master's chair. I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish. Oh, Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? Oh, you always were insufferable. But as every day passes, you get a little bit more inflexible. A little bit more tightly wound. A little bit more kicked off. Please. Spare me the stupid puns. At least we are not as far gone as some of the others. You saw what happened to Michelle. She always was too vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Little drawers, mirror, the works. And poor Jean-Claude? Who? Oh, you know Jean-Claude, not too bright, as dumb as... A brick? The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall? Yes, that's him in the kitchen behind the stove. And you know Guillaume the houseboy? Oh, that mealy-mouthed little bootlicker. I've never liked him. He's always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. <sighs> Perfect. It's happening faster with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will all gradually become... things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor old beggar woman out in her ear. No, but are we not responsible too for helping to make the master the way he is? I suppose so. All I know is that I will eventually melt away into nothing. I just hope there's something left of me if the master ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? 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 Is anyone here? Hello? 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 It's a girl. <sighs> yes, of course. I can see it's a girl. 
It's a girl. Now, you Miel, all, if you do all the talking, the head of the household, Jerry. I can do most of the talking. Not a word, just a word. That's all I'm asking for. Mommy, you're not going to believe what I saw. Not a million thousand years, not a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear. No, really, it's the greatest thing. It's the thing everybody's been waiting for since, since, since I don't know when. All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Well, bless my soul, wouldn't that be lovely? But there is, I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories. Getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Potts! Mrs. Potts, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. See, I told you, and she's real pretty too. Well, I don't know about that. This is the one! The girl, she has come to break the spell! Oh, break wait the spell. a minute, break wait a minute. Spell. Let's not be hasty. This is wonderful. Oh, stop it. Stop After that. all these years, oh, happy, happy day. We should tell the others, no? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle, is that you? Papa! <coughs> How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, you must leave this place. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go now. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you are the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Get out. No, wait. Forgive me, please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited, and now he'll suffer the consequences. Please, I'll do anything. There is nothing you can do. Wait, please. I said there is nothing you can do. Take me instead. No! What did you say? Take me instead. Belle, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here. Forever. No! Forever? Forever! Or he dies in the dungeon! That's not fair! Wait, come into the light. Make your choice. Belle, listen to me. I'm old, I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. No, I'm begging you, please, spare my daughter. Take her to the crossroads. Wait, no, Bell, not Bell. yet. Master? What? Master, please. Since the girl will be staying with us for quite some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room to stay in. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again, and I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room, but I thought... Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. Follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why, what's in the It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there! Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. You need anything, my servants will attend you. One last thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request. I will stay But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way You monster! monster. 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 
You might like some tea. Come in. Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're, you're, Mrs. Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Perhaps you've heard of me. Sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star to ever grace the stage, but fall under one little spell. Wait, this is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. Well, now, what should we dress you in for dinner? This is nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. <laughs> ah, here we are. I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer fitting into it now. Take it. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Don't be silly. Of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now. But you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then barely do.
she thinks she is. That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Darn right. No one says no to Gaston. Dismissed. Rejected. Publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who, you? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd like to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's awed and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why No one's slick as Gaston No one's quick as Gaston No one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston But there's no man in town half as manly Perfect up your paragon You can ask any Tom, Dick or Stanley and they'll tell you whose team they'd prefer to be on No one's been like Gaston, I think been like Gaston No one's got a swell cleft in his chin like Gaston As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating I want a guy like Gaston Give five or us, give twelve in this Gaston is the best and the rest is all drips Too much? Yeah Fights like Gaston, does his life like Gaston In a wrestling match nobody fights like Gaston Or there's no one as pretty or brawny As you see I've got biceps to spare Not a bit of them scraggly or scrawny That's right, and every last inch of me's covered with hair No one hits like Gaston, matches wits like Gaston In a spitting match nobody spits like I'm especially good at expectorating Seven points for Gaston When I was a lad I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large And now that I'm grown I eat five dozen eggs so I'm roughly the size of a boy
goes tromping around wearing boots like Gaston. I use antlers in all of my decorating. My Someone help! 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 Maurice? Please, I need your help. He's got her locked in a dungeon. Who? Bell, we must go once. Son of to lose. Whoa, slow down, Maurice. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? A beast! A horrible, monstrous beast! <laughs> <laughs> Is it a big beast? Huge! With spooky yellow eyes. Yes, yes. With a long, ugly snout. Hideously ugly. And sharp, cruel fangs. Yes, yes, will you help me? Will you help me? All right, old man. We'll help you out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Fine, I'll go back there and get her out myself. Crazy old Maurice. He's always good for a laugh. Crazy old Maurice, huh? Crazy old Maurice. LeFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime I know But that wacky old coot is best father And his sanity's only so-so Now the wheels in my head have been turning Since I looked at that loony old man See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle And right now I'm evolving a plan If I... Yeah? Then we... No, would she? Now I get it. Let's, Let's go. go! No one the lost like Gaston Take cheap shots like Gaston Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston Yes, I'm endlessly wildly resourceful As down to the depths you descend I won't even be mildly remorseful just as long as you get what you want in the end Who has brains like Gaston? Entertains like Gaston And make up these endless refrains like Gaston So his marriage we soon will be celebrating My water guy, Gaston Mrs. Potts. Yes, dear, what is it? Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Just about. I haven't the foggiest idea what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. Good, good. <gasps> what? Well, don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. You tell him. I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset, but you appear to have something on your back. <sighs> what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> ah! What is that? It appears to be a winding handle of some sort. Well, get it off me! <laughs> it won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. Relax! Relax! How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? And what's going to go next, my mind? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. Everything will be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? <laughs> Perhaps I should see about her. Uh, won't be a minute. I thought I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Uh, master, perhaps you thought that this girl might be the one to break the spell. Of course I have. Not a fool. Good. Then you fall in love with her, and she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. It's not that easy, Lumiere. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, and I'm well. 
Look at me. He has a point. Shh, look at him. He said it. <laughs> Master, you must help her to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all, all, what? You must, must control, control your, your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, yes, the girl. Well, actually, she's in the process of... Circumstances being what they are... <laughs> what? She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that. <gasps> You're looking to your Stay where you are. Lumiere, get out of my way. Do not be hasty. <laughs> I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle and I'm telling you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't just go around ordering people to be hungry. It just doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? How about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you by the hair! Master, that might not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner! So you admit you're being a bully. <sighs> Deep breaths, Master, deep breaths. <gasps> I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Please? No, thank you. Fine, let's starve! Oh. <laughs> Master, please, let's... Master, please wait a minute. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all! What were we thinking? We'll never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the door, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. Oui, mon capitaine. I ask her nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do, beg? Show me the girl. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that matted fur, he's really not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but once you get to know him, I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. It's no use. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate I simply made one careless wrong decision And then that which was gone And left me in this state An object of revulsion and derision Hated Is there no one Who can show me How to win the world's forgiveness No, what do they say? Press her with your wit, shower her with compliments, act like a gentleman, act like a gentleman, act like a gentle man. Lumiere! Oh, Lumiere! Lumiere! Ah, Babette, come to me, my little fluff. <coughs> it is my hands, isn't it? You do not love me anymore! Oh, this horrible, horrible spell! Achoo! Ah, Sherry, you cut me to the wick. Do you think a little thing like that would change my feelings for you? Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh, no, no, no! I've been burnt by you before! 
actually, madame, I am a little hungry. I'll ring for Mrs. Potts and sing you an aria while we wait. <clears throat> Boy, que sapete, que... Madame, I think I'll go myself. But what about the master? He's really not going to like this. I know. Oh dear, oh dear. I like this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Oh, there you are, dearie. Glad to see you out and about. <clears throat> I am Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth! Cogsworth! The girl, she's gone! I swear my eyes never let me. Enchante, mademoiselle. This is Lumiere. Stop it, stop that. If there is anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all... I am a little hungry. Except that... <laughs> Cogsworth! Well, you heard what the master said? Oh, pish posh. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. All right. Dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our necks. Ah, yes, dinner. But what's dinner without a little music? Music? Oh, no, no, no. Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin round your neck, sherry, and we'll provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot dog the wine We only live to serve Try the great stuff It's delicious Don't believe me, ask the dishes They can sing and dance After all, this, this is France And the dinner here is never second best Go on, unfold your menu Take a glance and then you'll be our guest We are guests be our guest. Be frank, you she's in flame. I am pulling on some We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's so prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. Why do tricks with my fellow candlesticks?
Life is so unnerving for a servant who's not serving He's not whole without a soul to wait upon Ah, those good old days when we were useful Suddenly, those good old days are gone Ten years we've been rusting Needing so much more than dusting Needing exercise and chance to use our skill Most days we just lay around the castle Flabby, fat and lazy, you walked in and whoops a daisy Good show, everyone. Good show. Well done, well done. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in Enchanted Castle. <laughs> enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out for myself. I'd like to look around if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I'm not sure that's such a good idea. We can't have you-know-who go poking around you-know-where, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to our hand-painted ceilings, complete with cherubs, frolicking in delight amidst the nymphs and centaurs. Art like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. Bell, bell. You will note the unusual inverted archways. You will see that this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And, as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> May I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. I'm nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that weight was quarried in this area. What's up there? Oh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Uh, hiding? Oh, no, no, no. What an idea, hiding. Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else? We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Perhaps you'd like to see the gardens or the library? You have a library? Yes, with books. Oh yes, scads of books, mountains of books, forests of books, cascades, cloud bursts, swamps of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you could ever be able to read in a lifetime. Books by every sub on every subject, by any author who has ever put pen to paper. So little left, so little left of me. And in my twisted face, there's not the slightest trace. Anything that even hints at kindness And from my tortured shape No comfort, no escape I see but deep within is utter blindness Hopeless as my dream dies, as the time flies, love a lost illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven. This sad conclusion No beauty could move me No goodness improve me No power 
power on earth if I can't love her. No passion could reach me, no lesson could teach me how I could have loved her and made her love me too. If I can't love her, then who? Long ago I should have seen All the things I could have been And on thinking, I moved onward. No pain. Let me see. Don't do that. Just hold still. Oh, it hurts. 
If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. <laughs> now hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew those two could get along if they tried. So clearly the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. We must give them a little push. We must find a nice romantic way to draw them closer together. Hmm. Hmm. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? soup. Trust me. There's something sweet and almost kind But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined But now he's dear and so unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before Come along, dearie. Let's get you out of those wet things. She grants us way. I thought I saw when we touch it and shudder at my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding and I can't breathe. Good. That's good? Excellent. Never felt this way about anyone before. I want to give her something. But what? Well, there's the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. No, no, this is no ordinary girl. It has to be something special, something that sparks her interest. What? Are you sure? Say something about the dress. Uh, <clears throat> it's pink. A compliment. Oh, <clears throat> what a nice dress. Thank you. Val, well, I have something to show you. But surprise, so close your eyes. Get the girl! yours. One of my favorites, King Arthur. Have you ever read it? No. Then you don't know what you're missing. I would love to read this again. Wait, you can read it first. No, that's all right. No, read it, you read it. No, you can't. No, you. No. I can't. You never learned to read? Only little and long ago. Well, it just so happens that this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here. Sit by me. Well, who'd 
who'd have thought? Oh, bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Well, who indeed? And who'd have guessed they'd come together on their own? It's so peculiar. Wait and see. A few days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon, if it's to be. It will be very soon now. Come along, son. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once to no avail. Oh. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Oh. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean he's king. Wait and see. I never knew books could do that. What? Take me away from this place. Make me forget. For a little while. Forget? Who I... What I am. We have something in common, you know. What? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. Still in there? Yes, and so far he's been a perfect gentleman. You know what, Mama? I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbly. It's hope, son. I've been feeling it too. Ah, uh, we, my little friend, our time may be at hand. If only that were true, Lumiere. Human again. Human again. Think what that means. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again With a mademoiselle on each arm When I'm human again, only human again Poised and polished and gleaming with charm I'll be courting again, chic and sporting again Which should cause several husbands alarm I'll hop down off the shelf And to sweet be myself I can't wait to be human again When we're human again Only human again When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more Little push, little shove They could push, fall in love A sherry, won't it all be top drawer? I'll wear lipstick and rouge And I won't be so huge Why, I'll easily fit through that door I'll exude savoir faire I'll wear gowns, I'll have hair It's my plan to be human again When I'm human again Only human again When the world once more starts making sense I'll unwind for a change Really, that'd be strange Can I help it if I'm to tense In a shack by the sea I'll sit back sipping tea Let my early retirement commence Far from fools made of wax I'll get down to brass tacks And relax Up the brass on the door Alert, be just pale and rude If it all goes as planned Our time may be out of the Open the shutters 
Here's our light in some air. Put these here and put those over there. Sleep on the ears of sadness and tears and all that away. When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. What's that? A second chance. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Me? You? Dinner? That'd be, I mean, oh yes! such short notice, Monsieur Dark. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night. This fellow said he'd make it worth my while. Look, I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little persuasion. Turn him down flat. It's like this, see? Listen closely. And denied my honeymoon For the pretty thing I've courted Refuses to swoon So the time has come for a murky plan For which I turn to a murky man To find that fiend where better than The Maison de I don't take this girl for granted There's no path I haven't through To a heart no seed unplanted No flowers unstrewn But quite amazing to relate She doesn't want me for her mate Which forces him to contemplate The Maison de I don't wish to seem entitled to but I don't see how I can be of use For I lock people up, I'm not a lonely hearts club I'm a curl curl fish, I'm a nasty vicious streak Please speak It spells father, who's your client? She adores the old buffoon She'll be forced to be compliant She'll dance to your tune 
We get the daughter through her dad You just pronounce the old boy mad And will she slammed up in your bed The Maison Taylor I make myself entirely clear It's the simplest deal of my whole foul career Put Maurice away and she'll be here in moments In a dreadful state to capitulate to me Oh, all these dropping up an inmate Very tightly Very soon But please don't bring him in late Our check-in time's known So So wave wave one bachelor goodbye She'll be my bride She'd rather die then have her daddy ossify? My sword did salute So put the church raised glasses high To the Maison de Tonight is the night, the night where you confess your love. Not sure I can do that. You must. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not tell her? I can't. You must. There'll be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself, and when the moment is right... How will I know when the moment is right? You'll feel slightly nauseous. No, no, you will feel it here, and you must speak from the heart. I must speak from... I can't. You must. (laughs) What are you afraid of? Nothing. Master. I'm afraid she might... She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to overcome that. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. Here. This may help to bolster your courage. (laughs) Oh. I know you can do it, master. I know you can. I 
Thank you for asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. wonderful. Val, I... Yes? Val, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone's so kind. Mrs. Potts, the Mier... With me? Yes. I must speak from... The heart. Something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. Well, there is a way. This magic mirror will show you anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Oh no, Papa! He's in the woods! Something's wrong! I should... I should... Go to him! What? You're not my prisoner anymore. But what about... You yeah, haven't been for a long time. Take it with you. You always have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Belle. Yes. Go. Go. I'll never see her again. Well, Sire, I must say, everything is going just swimmingly. I knew you had it in you. I let her go. You what? How could you do that? I had to. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it then, that should break the spell. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. thing I remember. I was falling. You were in the woods. Papa, I thought I'd never find you. But the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. He let you go? That terrible beast? He's not terrible. In the beginning, I was so frightened. I thought it was the end of everything. But somehow, things changed. How? I don't know, but I see him differently now. It's funny, when I look around, I see the whole world differently. 
Good evening. Monsieur de Arc. I've come to collect your father. What? Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. He was raving like lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah. All right, come along quietly now. You can't do this. Tell us again, old man, just how big was this beast? Well, he was huge, at least eight, no more like ten feet tall. You don't get much crazier than that. What are you doing? It's true, I tell you. Tell me, Maurice, when did you first start having these delusions? They're not delusions. The beast is real, and so is the talking clock. <laughs> Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. <laughs> I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? One word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never! Have it your way. Take the old man. Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy. Show me the beast! That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no! I know he looks frightful, but he'd never hurt anyone. He's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we have feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. She's as crazy as the old man. She said this creature is her friend. Life hunted wild beasts. I've seen what they can do. They make off with your children. They'll come after them in the night. He would never do that! Forget the old man, I say we kill the beast! Kill him! We're not safe until he's dead. He'll come stalking us at night. Set to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. We wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the wood, through the darkness and the shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Yes! Yeah. Got fangs, razor sharp ones, massive paws, killer claws for the thieves. Hear him roar, see him foam, but we're not coming home till he's dead. Good and dead. Kill the beast! Kill the beast! I won't let you do this! Try and stop us. Oh, Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No! I lost you once, I won't lose you again. We'll rid this village of the beast. Who's with me? I am! I am! I am! Your courage to this sticking place We're counting on Gaston to lead the way But remember, the beast is mine. Hearts are blessed, but it's heavy. 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 Hearts are blessed, This place gives me the creeps, Gaston. Shh. Well, it does. Shut up. Gaston, I want to go home. Bonjour. Ah! Bonjour. Ah! My dear. Ooh la la. Ah!
Akbar will be brought the name of Master. Leave me in peace. But the castle is under attack. It doesn't matter now. Just let them come. Mon Dieu. Yes, please. Ah, my eyes! Take that, you scurvy scum! Ah. in the flesh. Get up! What's the matter, beast? Too kind and gentle to fight back? You love her, don't you, beast? That's a good one. Do you really think a girl like that would want a thing like you? You're a fool! She despises you, beast. She sent me here to destroy you. No. It's over, beast. Bell is mine. No! Please, I beg you, please pull Get me out. out. Uh, I'm sorry. You came back. Take my hand. I came back. I couldn't let them. If only I could sooner. Maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. Everything will be fine. No. Shh. We're together now. You'll see. At least I got to see you one last. I 
Yes. Oh no, please, don't leave me. I love you. Happening here, Cogsworth. Oh, Cogsworth! Happy. Stop it! Stop that! The spell is broken. What? We're human again. Lumiere, come here. Come. come, on. come on. Mrs. Potts. Lumiere, look at you. Cogsworth. Oh my, Cogsworth, look at you. Let's go find your father. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It most certainly was. <sighs> Yoo-hoo! Bonjour, handsome! Ah, Babette, you look... so much better. What do you mean? Did you not like the way I looked before? No, I just prefer you this way. Then you were lying to me? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Well, maybe a little. Lumiere, I like you better this way too. Madame, may I say that you look ravishing. Thank you, Cogsworth. Do you like the gown? I simply can't believe it fits me again after all these years. It's magnificence in excelsis. Did you know I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera? The king himself was there. I know, my dear. You were wonderful. Oh, Cogsworth. <laughs> mama, Mama! Oh, Chip! My boy! Oh, my boy! Are they going to live happily ever after, Mama? Of course, my dear. Of course. Do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? Oh 